everyone, it's AD Video Editor, and in today's tutorial we'll be going over Sony Broadcast Colors. So let's get into it. Go ahead and open up Sony Vegas, and once you have that open and you have some footage imported onto your timeline, go ahead and click the video effects icon on the lower right hand corner of your video track and go ahead and find broadcast colors right here and OK and then you'll see that this window appears and the first thing you'll see is this Luma tab and when you click on it these options appear and in case you're not familiar with Luma um, Luma or luminance represents the brightness in the video so you see there's a minimum and the maximum and the minimum would rec would represent the darkness and the maximum would represent the lightness because luma represents brightness so the minimum darkness maximum brightness and when the and by naturally the minimum would be all the way down but as you increase the minimum or increase the darkness or brighten in the darkness you notice that the darkest parts of my video are now become, be getting lighter and becoming gray. These won't go all the way up to white, but they do increase to a solid gray. And the exact same thing with the maximum. The maximum is all the way at the top, but as you begin to decrease the maximum or decrease the brightness or darken the lightness, you see that the whites um, get darker into a gray. And if you have the maximum all the way down and the minimum all the way up, your video looks very gray and boring. But it also depends on the effect you want your video, because I mean, this could be a very cool effect depending on what you have in your footage. And your smoothness just will smoothen it out. Not a huge effect, but just a very subtle difference, you'll see. Let me reset all this back to default. And next we have the chroma tab, and chroma just represents the color. So the maximum is all the way up, saying that all the color is in here. But as you decrease this, you're draining the color, making it black and white, similar to the saturation of the video. And you also have a smoothness for this to smoothen everything out. Like I said, it's a very subtle adjustment. So I'm going to bring this all the way back up so we, have, so we have all the color. And next is the composite tab. Now I'm going to say don't waste your time with this because I because this will really not do anything for your video. You see how I'm making all these adjustments and there is no difference in my video. So don't waste your time with the composite tab. And lastly, we have these two um, check marks options over here. The first one says 7.5 IRE setup and what the that means well the IRE is a scale for blackness. So the 7.5 is saying that that is where the black is at 7.5 on the scale. Generally around the world the black is at 0 because the scale goes from 0 to 100, 0 being black, 100 being white. However, the US uses 7.5 as black. So when you have this selected, you have your 7.5 blackness setup, but when you uncheck this, here let me add an effect on here so you can see it. So when you click this and turn off the 7.5 IRE, you see that the blacks increase a little bit, probably going to about a 15 IRE setup. So this is another subtle adjustment, so if you like it, go ahead and use it. And lastly, we have Studio RGB. And RGB is stands for red, green, blue, and is the color scheme. And there are some different types of RGB, such as Studio RGB, which you see here. And there's also Computer RGB and TV RGB. So these are all different um, color schemes, and right now you have it on Studio RGB, but if you take it off of Studio RGB, it goes to probably Computer RGB. I don't know positively, but 
I have a strong belief that this is now computer RGB because you are using this on a computer. So if you take it off, it's computer RGB, and depending on if you switch screens, your colors might look a little bit different. So that's why it's better to be on studio because then every all the color schemes will be the same. Well guys, that's it for this tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and email me if you have any questions. And I will see you tomorrow.